Mr. Winchester. Ah, Dr. Nazbukat, Naz, Naz, please. Just call me Dr. Beck. Thank you very much for Beck. Thank you very much as well for seeing me on such short notice. <laughs> Morning after, no, no, really, I, I know I'm a bartender, but uh, I don't suffer from hangovers. I, I suffer from excessive product loyalty, the occasional batch of uh, cocktail flu, but I'm fine, really. How can I help? Uh, well, some friends of mine said that you might be able to help me with a, a small problem I have. Do you mind me asking who referred you? It's Ian, the rum ambassador Burrell, and Andy, intoxicologist Pearson. Oh, yes. All troubles, chaps, indeed. If they're your friends, you need help too. I've got a few problems, or I've got a small problem with some, some baggage. I see. Well, it's not uncommon for a man of your age. Please, make yourself comfortable. <sighs> so tell me about your problems. Are they sexual? Uh, sexual problems? God, no. For fuck's sake, I'm a bartender. Everyone wants me as a friend or a fuck, as they say in the film Heathers. I mean, as soon as I walk behind the bar, I'm filled with magical sexual allure. But as I do tell bartenders, it has to be said that girls will flirt with you, not because they want to sleep with you, but because you're the, the safest person to flirt with. They can flirt with me all night. It's part of my job to be nice and kind to them, etc. But then, at the end of the night, they can walk home without me following them along like a little sort of lovesick puppy, etc. So, sexual problems? No, I'm, I'm fine on that one. It has to be said. The longest I spend with women nowadays is probably the air hostesses that I fly with, but no, I don't worry about things sexually, thank you very much. So are your worries financial then? <laughs> money worries? Well, no, I don't have money worries. I mean, I'm not an eccentric billionaire who does this just to keep your evenings busy, etc. And money is very important. I mean, in my training, when I talk to bartenders, I'm always amazed, for example, that they don't think of themselves as businessmen, but they think of themselves as artists. You know, they're, they're out there, they, they think because they work in a bar, they can give drinks away willy-nilly to everybody. It's dark, it's loud, the owner's not there to watch them. When it comes down to it, Bartenders, frontline staff, are responsible for bottom line profits, and yet we don't train them on profitability. I stand there, I tell them that for every drink they give away to their friend or the fellow bartender or some good looking girl, they have to sell nine drinks to make up the, just merely the cost of that one drink they've given away. So, yes, I think about money all the time, but do I worry about it? Nah. But anyway, if I did earn more money, probably just spend it on exotic bitters and strange vintage jiggers and things like that. But no, I don't worry about money. Well, what about rage? Do you feel angry towards things? Rage? Well, you're right, I am considered a rather grumpy old man now to a certain extent, but I think to a certain extent my position is justified. I mean, what do I hate? Well, I hate olives. I think they're the testicles of the devil. Uh, I'm not a big fan of celery. I mean, this is a food, but it's a food that uses more energy to chew it and to digest it than it gives you. I mean, if you ate nothing but celery, you'd die. It's not food. You might as well eat cocktail napkins, etc. What else? Ooh, cocktail cherries. Now there's an abomination. They were great when they were a marasca cherry soaked in maraschino liqueur, but now they're artificially colored and flavored, overly preserved. I mean, I heard the other day that if you swallowed a cocktail cherry and it just sat in your stomach, that it would take five years to biodegrade. Fuck me, don't put that shit in my drink, I'll tell you right away. Make your own, maybe, but the industrial stuff, absolutely not. <sighs> what else do I hate? I hate bartenders who think that the term bartender isn't fancy enough for them. The guys who call themselves mixologists, cocktailians, drinksmiths, bar chefs, spirit technicians, liquid evangelists, intoxicologists. I mean, any bartender worth their salt who calls himself this for any reason other than to get paid more or laid more is a complete fucking asshole in my bed. But at the same time, I hate more things. I hate brand whores. I hate brands that come along and invent histories to make themselves seem more traditional and more authentic and things like that. I hate people who think Patron is good tequila. Fucked up with that. So maybe I do have some rage issues, but 
there comes a point in a man's life when you think perhaps you've earned the right to say if something's bad. I think we live in a world where everything is good and everything is wonderful. And the fact that you try hard should be rewarded, even if the result of it isn't necessarily good. Life has winners and losers. There has to be a winner and a loser. There has to be a first place and a second place. Not everything is a shared wonderful activity. Maybe I do have some rage issues, but I think I'll work on that myself if that's okay. Do you suffer from any obsessive behavior, my friend? Obsessive behavior? No, I, I don't think I... No, actually, of course I do. I'm a bartender. I think a, a good, healthy dose of obsessive compulsive disorder is important. You're always cleaning and polishing, and cleaning ashtrays, wiping the bar down, rearranging the back bar, tidying up the labels, turning the pour spouts around. I have a basic rule, if I'm not making drinks, if it can be cleaned, clean it. And if it can be filled, fill it. So yeah, and I guess I'm obsessional about trying to do as well as I possibly can. Trying to stretch, trying to learn something new every day, and trying to make every person who comes into the bar feel better when they walk out. Whether they've drunk my cocktails all evening, or merely just come in just asking for directions on the whole. So I'm obsessive about that. Compulsive? Perhaps not. But it doesn't take over my life. <laughs> Any problems with addictive behavior? Hmm, well, there was a time when I used to think that too much, of a, too much of a good thing could be wonderful, but on the whole now I'm more of a moderation, everything in moderation, including moderation itself. But uh, I've learned that bartending is about the drink, not about the drunk. When it comes down to it, Drinking to get drunk is like fucking to get pregnant. It just doesn't make a huge amount of sense. And when it comes to the other stuff, of course, only users lose drugs. So, Mr. Winchester, what is your baggage problem? My problem? Well, my baggage problem is I've, I've bought too much vodka while I've been here in Moscow. So, I understood that your brother works for Aeroflot, and I thought maybe you could make a call and get my excess baggage waived. Здравствуй, Вася. Тут одного британского психа тебе пошли. Пожалуйста, посади его поближе к туалету и выставим двойной счет за перевес. Спасибо. Мистер Уинчестер, all sorted for you and uh, have a nice trip. Thank you very much, Dr. Beck. That's so kind of you.